what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, first off, hails to Sivorous and Stygian Obsession for this badass t-shirt. Fucking sick. Born of sickness, exult in dying light. Badass fucking stuff. Both band logos. Thank you, and thank you to James of Transylvania Tapes for introducing me to Boston, Massachusetts grind freaks that happen to like death metal. Stagnetter, the guillotine demo, eight tracks of vicious New England death grind. If you're a fan of Grindcore, there's something you're gonna love about this release. And if you like death metal and you just like Grindcore, yeah, you're gonna find something to love about this guillotine demo from Stagnetter. And hailing from the New England area, back once upon a time, you had a band called Siege. Now Siege, due to tape trading and whatnot, made their way across the pond, and a little band called Napalm Death happened to hear Siege and added their influence, which was a little bit of like fast hardcore, early 80s, and they added it to their sound, and it helped create what became Napalm Death. So without the New England hardcore slash punk scene on the butterfly effect theory maybe grind wouldn't exist without siege so hearing a band this fucking rad coming out of the boston area with a mastering job from pig destroyers scott hull you get something pretty badass that legit sounds like it would be on Relapse Records when they were on top of the Grindcore community. This, from the logo alone, reminds me of some early 2000s to mid 2000s Relapse Records Grindcore. And some of the songs as well, it sounds like fucking rotten sound, and it's awesome. Like, as much as of as much as I want to say, like, one of my favorite modern grind bands is Bone Sickness, who left us with Theater of Morbidity. Sadly, the LP was fucked, and hopefully it gets a repress, because I love this fucking album. I still listen to the cassette as much as I possibly can, but, like... If you're a fan of the more classic style of grind, this is what you're, you want to get into. Like the Caustic Wound full length, Death Posture, is a little more death metal than it is straight up grind. But if you go to their Grinding Terror demo, it's a little on the other end of things. It's more grinding than it is death metal, but the vocals are still amazing so it doesn't really matter but stagnetter remind me more like i was saying of those years where relapse and willow tip were on top of like anything grind related and a record like inhale exhale by nalsum is a perfect example pig destroyer prower in the yard but most of all stagnetter remind me of agoraphobic nosebleed when they take themselves seriously. So I'm talking about like Agorpocalypse Now error of agoraphobic nosebleed. But most of all, this sounds like a Relapse Records grindcore band that happens to like death metal a lot. So I would say a tighter, brutal truth yeah, and the cover art alone. Like, this reminds me a lot of Wake also. And I'm not talking about the sludgy Wake that did Voice of Omens and stuff from Arkansas. I'm talking about 
the grind, wake, die choking, rotten sound. Throw all them into a fucking blender and that's what stag netters sound like. The guillotine demo, it's fucking amazing. Like, really, like at times, some of the fucking riffs definitely reminded me of Nausum, Brutal Truth, but mostly a lot of Willow Tip stuff and also bands on the relapse roster from Brutal Truth to Pig Destroyer even. Like, this is vicious shit. And I always loved this Nalsum LP, Cosmetics. Just figured I'd show you real quick. It was in my hand, and it's an amazing slab of grind. And if you're gonna listen to Stagnetter, you're probably gonna be in the mood for some grind after they grind your fucking face in. So, I would check this out afterwards if you've never heard Nalsum before. It's a great place to start. But this is killer fucking shit. Like, this is the type of grind I love. So yeah, if you like grindcore with a little death metal edge to it, check out Stagnetter, the guillotine demo. Eight tracks of blistering grindcore with some death metal elements and some power violence elements, which I should have mentioned, but check out Tracks like Bee Eater, Kerosene, Pummel, Eulogy for Scapegoats, Corruption Salve, Tome of Farewell Prayers, Ambush, and Lobotomy Bruises make up this 8-track slab of vicious grindcore. You have some just vicious fucking assaults.
but the guillotine demo by Stagnetter is still available. Only a few copies left on cassette via Transylvania Recordings. And we have Mark B on drums, Justin D on guitar, Mark R on guitar and vocals, Anthony R on bass, and Kyle W on vocals. Now, I'm sure these gentlemen are in a bunch of other awesome bands. I didn't do my research, but I do know that Stagnetter play some killer death grind. That reminds me of a lot of Willow Tip and Relapse grindcore bands. So, if you're a fan of, say, Rotten Sound and Agoraphobic Nosebleed, throw in a little power violence, and boom! Stagnetter, the guillotine demo. Like I said, there's elements of nausum, wake, die choking, I, I can just name a ton of grime bands. But at the end of the day, this has that New England grind sound to it as well. And it's fucking a ripper. All eight tracks on here, all killer, no filler, bad fucking ass. Hails again to James at Transylvanian Recordings for sending this over to the channel because this is my shit. The Guillotine Demo by Stagnetter. And also, thank you again to Siverus and Stygian Obsession. These shirts are badass. They have longitude and latitude positions as well, which I'm guessing are locations of the band's home cities. I'm not entirely sure, but it's just a badass design. The gold design reminded me of... 2005 but a little more modern it's still a sick fucking shirt and i just wanted to say thank you but if you're a fan of blistering grindcore with death metal elements you can't go wrong here with stagnetter the guillotine demo this fucking rules one of the best modern grindcore bands i can say right now in 2021 in my opinion this is bad ass Shit. That Scott Hall mastering job did wonders. The production is amazing. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells.